So the other day, one person had the question of how to stop iPad camera from following you. And most likely what they mean is how to turn off the center stage feature, which has been introduced with the iPad. So it is a feature from Apple which makes sure that you are always in frame no matter how much you move around and it just always tries to make you fit inside of the screen so it just like zooms in a little bit and it tracks you and it just keeps following you and if more people just come in then of course uh, the the view of course gets larger and the people actually fit inside of the frame and if you'd like to turn it off I'm going to show you how you can do that of course this only works as of right now for a video messaging that means like video calls FaceTime and other third-party apps that support it so most likely in FaceTime is where you will encounter it so the way you turn it off is during a phone call you swipe down to access the control center and what you're gonna see there is some options for the camera and for the microphone so of course you're gonna see the FaceTime at the top with a green icon and if you tap on the option which says video effects, there are pretty much two effects that can be used for uh, FaceTime video calls and that is center stage and portrait mode. And you just have to turn off the center stage because that's what's bugging you apparently. So once you disable this, it's not going to happen to you anymore. But you should also know that it does not work on every single iPad and only the recent ones support it. So for this you don't only need the latest software update but you also need the hardware support like the ultra wide front facing camera which isn't present in every single model. And as of right now it is supported on uh, the iPad, uh, of course the latest iPads with M1, but of course on uh, the iPhone 11 inch iPad Pro, the third generation, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro which has to be at least fifth generation, the iPad mini sixth, then iPad ninth generation, and of course the newly released iPad Air. These devices actually support it. But since you have this problem, you probably already possess the iPad which already has this feature and you would like to turn it off or turn it back on. Unfortunately, there is no such option to use it for regular videos that you use in your camera app and that you snap them there or in any other app other than uh, video calls. So that kind of sucks, but this can be fixed with the simple software update. But yes, you cannot really manage any settings around the center stage in the settings of the camera. In the camera section, there is no such thing. So you can only do that while you are on a phone call with someone, while you're FaceTiming someone using the video chat. When it comes to third-party apps that support it, some of the notable ones are Facebook Messenger, then there is Filmic Pro, there is Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, like uh, all of the apps that you use for video calls, so then there is Skype, Slack, Zoom, and WebEx, to, to name a few. And Filmic Pro is, an, is a camera app which only records video, so that's great in case you are going to be professional with it, or you would like to record a video that you would want to upload somewhere then Filmic Pro is a great app to to do that to achieve this effect in other ways um, other than simply using it for video calls. So that will be pretty much it from me and for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and more importantly hopefully you found it valuable. In case you did and I honestly hope you did then leave a thumbs up and you can also leave a comment down below in case there's anything, anything else that I didn't mention or some different possible answer to your question that you had, then leave a comment letting me know about that. You can also subscribe so you stay tuned and don't miss future uploads. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and we can see each other in the future uploads.